Over the last couple of years, I have focused majorly on simplifying. I wanna simplify my routines, I wanna simplify my home, I wanna make everything just easier. So today I wanna to talk about some really high impact ways that you can simplify your home. These are simple, they are very, very easy to achieve, and they don't require very much effort. So hopefully today's video is inspiring and helpful. Let's hop right in. So I got this idea to set up a baking station, and that sounds maybe a little overwhelming. Don't worry, this is nothing fancy, but I decided that I was gonna set up a cupboard in my kitchen and have this be a station have it function as just baking items. I wanted this area of my kitchen to make baking easier and just simplify and easy <laughs> go hand in hand for me. So I'm thinking, how can I make baking easier? Because I love to bake. So I put all of my baking ingredients like cocoa powder, baking soda, um, baking powder, salt, and all of the utensils in this one Covered. I also put my hand mitts here just to make everything super, super accessible at once. And it's nice. I love this. I've had this set up for over a year and I love it. I love that I changed the way I did this from before, which was walk across the kitchen to get different items, open different drawers, and it was just a little bit complicated. So by simplifying and putting everything in the same area, it made it so much easier to bake. Since we're talking about the kitchen, I talk all about this on my channel, but it always bears repeating because it's so important. If you want to simplify your home, cut down on clutter, make it easier to find things, easier to clean and just easier to function, you've got to get rid of duplicates. And I am going to recommend getting rid of duplicates in the kitchen. The kitchen is set up to have very, very specific boundaries. The cupboard spaces, the drawers, all of this is a boundary. And therefore, I think it's really important to kind of pare this area down and not have duplicates. So you've got to get rid of duplicates in the kitchen specifically, even if you don't get rid of duplicates in other areas of your home, which I still recommend, but start in the kitchen. It's going to make a huge impact. So if you have multiple ladles, multiple can openers, multiple serving spoons, and you never need that many pie dishes, crock pots, um, anything. And having open space in your kitchen is actually really, really lovely. When the drawers and the cupboards are not packed full of stuff, it makes it a lot more enjoyable to host, to cook, and do all the things that you wanna do in the kitchen. Whatever it is, homework, it could be anything. It just makes it so much nicer. Okay. A lot of you already know that I do not have a seriously organized home. This is because I have pared down my possessions pretty significantly and it's actually eliminated the need for a lot of organizing. But there are a couple of areas that I do recommend having organized in your home, no matter where you are in the decluttering process or on the simplifying journey. Number one, Organize your pantry. <laughs> I cannot say this enough. Um, go on Zillow. It's really interesting. And I kind of realized that homes don't have very organized pantries when I was on Zillow looking for homes. And 99% of the homes that I would look at on Zillow had disorganized pantries. And this is not a judgment case. You know, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. But the only thing is, as I'm thinking, it's so much simpler and easier to operate efficiently in your kitchen when your pantry is organized. And it kind of just made me realize, oh, pantries, like this is a really big area that people maybe struggle to organize. And it does make a huge difference. It is a high impact area of your home because you are in there every single day. So if it's an area of your home that you are into every day, I highly recommend organizing it. And organizing to me just means containing, 
This does not have to be fancy, complex, or expensive. If you can just contain or corral your items, you have organized them. To take it a step further and to make your life even easier, I do like labels, um, especially in the pantry. I think they're very, very useful when you're putting things away. And again, this is now kind of turning into a system. You have an organized system and it's running smoothly, which means it's gonna be a lot easier for you to operate in this area of your home. So corral the items, <laughs> contain the items in your pantry group like things together this does not need to be expensive i like using these white bins from target they're pretty inexpensive and because my pantry is so small i actually only need a few bins and if i ever want to use the bins in another part of the house it's white so it goes with everything but you don't have to use these these are just the ones that i have really enjoyed they're a nice size i like the handles it's easy to tie a little label around that and pull the baskets out so I highly recommend organizing your pantry on whatever level is doable to you, but it will make an insane difference. All right, your closet. This is another area you are in every single day. I really like the idea of organizing it as far as categories go. That's how I've chosen to organize my closet. I've kept it very simple, of course, um, and just putting the short sleeve shirts and then the lightweight long sleeve shirts and then the sweaters and dresses at the end. And that's it, that's all I've done. And the items are contained by the hangers. So you don't have to get any fancier than that. The hanger has contained the item. So just kind of arrange it however you want. If you're a color coded person, do it that way, whatever works for you, but create a system of clothes that you wear, that you fit into, and that make you feel confident, and just kind of come up with a system that makes sense to you. Okay, let's talk about meal planning, because if you're anything like me, meal time can actually be one of the more stressful times of the day. So something that I've noticed that has highly, highly simplified my life is always having certain ingredients on hand for things that I know my kids will eat and I know I can throw together really quickly. If we've got soccer practice that night or I'm tired, not feeling well, um, our dinner got pushed late so we need to you know, get the kids to bed quickly, it doesn't matter whatever circumstance I might find myself in. I know if I have these ingredients, I can make these meals quickly. So I either like to have stuff for burritos. This is so simple. Tortillas, beans, cheese, done. And then I'll always serve it with whatever side of veggies and fruit we have. I also really like grilled cheese and tomato soup. Very cheap, very easy, very, very fast. I also like to do breakfast for dinner all the time. I love this one. My kids love it. They think it's a special treat. And it really is. It's so fun. It's so quick and so easy. So I will always have those ingredients on hand along with a few fresh seasonal things no matter what just in case we have something come up or again I'm not feeling well or in a rush or whatever it is. What is your go-to like mom meal in a pinch in a rush? Will you let us know in the comments? I love getting more ideas and I think it'll be super fun for us to learn from each other. I love, love, love having a reset day. Now you can either plan these every week or every month or both, um, but I love this because you're actually scheduling a day to get specific things done. Now on a reset day, you can really do whatever it is you need to get caught up on, whatever it is that's kind of on your to-do list, but some things that I will always include on a reset day are uh, deep cleaning. <laughs> that has to be done, it's no fun, I dread it, but if I schedule it, I am more likely to do it. And I know I don't have to think about it unless I'm on the reset day. So I will deep clean my house. I will also run errands on this day. It is also a day that I plan on paying bills. So again, however this works in your schedule, plan it every week or every month. Maybe you do a mini reset every week and then a really, really big, nice um, reset every month where you kind of catch up on whatever you didn't get done during the weekly resets. So just have a reset day, put it in your planner, put it in your schedule. Schedule. That way you know it's there waiting for you and you don't have to feel like you're drowning in your everyday life. You can feel like, you know what, I've got this planned, I've got this schedule, I know 
exactly when all of this stuff is going to be taken care of. And then the everyday chores and tasks feel a little bit lighter because you're looking forward to this reset day and put it on a day when you don't have other appointments and obligations. Keep this day open. It is a day just for you to get things done. So today we've talked about some high impact ways that you can simplify your home. In an upcoming video, I will be giving you 20 ways that you can seriously simplify your life. Stay tuned for that video. Please subscribe if you'd like to see it and the other videos that I post weekly. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you soon. Bye.